Hey guys, so today what I'd like to show you is um, how I print and cut using the Cutmaster 2 software with Adobe Illustrator and my GraphTech cutter. Um, what I got here is um, <clears throat> a new board and it's set up to the size of my transfer sheet which is eight and a half by eleven inches um, and then on a layer down here what I did what I like to do is set my margins you know so I know where my margins are and that's also going to help me when I add the registration marks um, now I already have my image or images that I'm going to cut out and this is for um, a shirt that my little boy wanted and I have my cut lines also if there's a demand I could show you how I did that but for this video I'm just gonna keep it to assuming that you are at that point then you just need to know how to go from here set your registration marks and cut so um, what I would normally do you know starting from this point assuming that I you know don't have my images ready um, and I would create a new layer and I would come over I'm gonna make this fill red so you can see what I'm doing grab the rectangle tool and then come to the board you know just inside my my margins well, that's actually right on where my margin is that that'll be fine and then create a rectangle okay and we're gonna come up here to file go down to cut master 2 and click on registration marks and then this box is gonna pop up and all we're gonna do is convert rectangle hit OK and you can see if I get rid of my uh, lines that gave us our registration marks simple as that and then it also created a new layer down here um, where our registration marks are going to be and it's locked and we're just going to leave that alone um, from here you know if you don't have your images prepared you know you can move them in so here are you know my images again and cut lines now an important thing from this point on um, when you want to print this is you want to make sure your uh, cut lines are not on because you you know you don't want that to print on your image so from here we have our registration marks and our image and we are ready to print so file and print and okay so now that we have our images along with our registration marks printed we are ready to cut this so what you want to do is come back over here and make sure your cut lines are back on Oops. and um, you are ready to rock so what we'll do come up to file come down cut master 2 and cut plot then the cut master 2 software will pop up we want to make sure that our image is not being mirrored otherwise it won't follow the outside of our images um, want to make sure this button down here um, plotter controller is checked now through pulling out my hair I come to realize that it is next to impossible to find the registration marks and cut just from the Cutmaster 2 so what this will enable us to do is when we're ready to cut um, we'll cut from the actual craft tech plotter controller um, our settings force 12 b20 quality 2 that would be um, fine there to print I 
I'm sorry to cut. Um, our next step is to um, <clears throat> bring the, the plotter head um, to this little area down here, which is like the bottom right corner of our um, registration marks. You can do that by you know changing the position. Um, these arrows will control the you know the direction of the plotter head. And once we have our plotter head in that box, and it has to be right in that green little box, we will click Read Marks. That will prompt you with this, and it's just to ensure that you um, have the plotter where in position. And um, we'll hit OK, and that will send this to the machine, and it will read our registration marks. Um, and then you can see that, that is inside. That's where ex exactly where you want that to be. But now that we got that, we are ready, and it's going to read our marks. Our registration marks have been read, the cutter is ready to cut, and we shall cut. Alright, so here is our images after we took them out of the plotter and you're just going to peel this back Oops, doing this one handed and there we go now we're ready to pull those off the transfer sheet and uh, get our heat press nice and hot and apply them to a t-shirt.